Lower Campus was booming with lots of action and emotion this weekend in Hawaii Athletics. And if you missed it, I got you right here, right now on this week's Rainbow Roundup. It was an emotional and heartfelt weekend for Warrior Ball 23 as they took down UC San Diego to share the Big West Conference title, all while celebrating their six seniors. Senior night is always special in Hawaii, and we couldn't be more grateful for the impact they made on the program and for the state. Congratulations to Cole Hoagland, Demetrios Mukleas, Philip Pumler, Kana'i Akana, Devin Johnson, and Jakob Tella on your time in the program. It's that time of the year again for the Bows to compete in the Big West Conference Tournament as the number one seed. UH will travel to Irvine, California to face either UC San Diego or UC Santa Barbara this Friday with first serve set for 2 p.m. Hawaii time. Right next door to the Simplify Arena, the Beach Bows had their senior weekend at the Clarence T.C. Ching Complex, claiming victories against Georgia State and Arizona to celebrate their six seniors. Once again, no one does senior night like Hawaii does, and these bows were just shown how special it can be. Congratulations to Leah Cruz, Chandler Cowell, Sophia Russo, Ilihia Huddleston, Kylan Loker, and Brooke Van Sickle on everything you've accomplished. The fun on Oahu isn't over yet, as the Big West Championships will be held this weekend at the one and only Queens Beach. All the action starts this Friday with times to be announced. Records are meant to be broken and Rainbow Wahine track and field just keep breaking them. Alyssa May Antolin comes back from the Brian Clay Invitational breaking a 39 year old school record in the 200 meter dash with a time of 23.38 seconds. Sophia Morgan delivered another big time performance breaking her own record in the 3000 meter steeplechase with a time of 10 minutes and 53.67 seconds on Thursday. The Rainbow Wahine will get the next two weeks to prepare for the OSU High Performance in Corvallis, Oregon, with action set up to start on April 28th. The baseball bows had a strong showing against UC San Diego this past weekend, claiming a 1-0 win on Friday and a 17-8 win on Saturday to claim the series 2-1. On Friday, Dallas Duarte broke a scoreless tie with his eighth inning double to secure the win for the Bows. Saturday was an even bigger night as the Rainbow Warriors scored a season-high 17 runs and pounded out four hits against the Tritons. UH will return to the Les Murakami Stadium to face Long Beach State in a three-game series this weekend. First pitch against the Dirtbags will be this Friday at 6.35 p.m. Rainbow Wahine softball comes out of the weekend bouncing back against UC Riverside to win the series 2-1. On Friday, the Bows rallied against the Highlanders but ultimately fell 9-7. UH turns it around during Saturday's doubleheader with Brianna Lopez and McKenna Costasen on the mound. Kaena Kili Inoy, Isabella Martinez, and Maya Leah Bethea also added to the drama, pounding home runs for the Bows. Martinez led the way by batting 600, collecting eight hits and six runs batted in. After claiming their fourth Big West Series win, the Rainbow Wahine will now look forward to another road trip for a three-game series against CSU Bakersfield. First pitch against the Roadrunners is this Friday at 11 a.m. Hawaii time. Rainbow Wahine water polo had a massive showdown this past weekend against conference rivals UC Irvine, but unfortunately couldn't get the job done and fell to the Anteaters in the fourth quarter, 11-10. Bia Montalado Diaz gave yet another stelling performance, netting a team high of five goals on six shots. Jordan Wedderburn also helped position the Bows, adding two goals for the night. UH will now host UC Davis in their final homestand of the season, which means it's time to celebrate three Rainbow Wahine for senior night. Action against the Aggies starts this Saturday at 6 p.m. Hawaii time at the Duke Kahanamoku Aquatic Complex. We want to give a shout out to Rainbow Wahine Sailing for finishing runner-up in the PCCSC Women's Championship this past weekend in Santa Barbara, California. The Bows have officially earned a berth in the 2023 ICSA Women's Nationals to be held in New York next month. Congratulations once again, and we're all rooting for you. As you can tell, we've had a pretty busy weekend here in Hawaii Athletics, but the fun isn't over yet. Make sure to keep supporting your Bows as two teams will be competing for conference championships this weekend. I'm Emily Cervantes, and this has been your Rainbow Roundup.